this morning on the blend joining us from the MSU breast center. We have nurse practitioner Michelle Anderson. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, good to see you. It's appropriate that you're here because October is breast cancer awareness month. And so what does this month mean to you? To me, breast cancer awareness month, October, um, you know, really looking at breast awareness, breast cancer awareness and looking at the risks, making sure that we're getting the message out to get your annual mammograms. But every day is Breast Cancer Awareness Day at the MSU Breast Center. We're always striving to either prevent breast cancer if we can or find it early through screening. And talk about some of the services that you provide at the, at the center. At MSU Breast Center, I provide a variety of services, but one of the things I really enjoy doing is the um, high-risk breast clinic, where we will see a patient and talk to them about their past medical history, their past surgical history, as well as their family history, and then determine what their overall risk for developing breast cancer in the future is. And I know that you've worked in the past with uh, breast cancer survivors as well, and also their physical activity. So tell me a little bit more about that. I'd love to. So we have found through studies and research that breast cancer survivors who attain and achieve the physical activity guidelines have an overall better health. They have a lower incidence of breast cancer um, coming back as well as a lower mortality. Um, we've been fortunate enough at MSU to um, have a Susan G. Komen grant and in the last two years, the Pink Impact Grant has been able to offer to breast cancer survivors a physical activity group um, where we talk to survivors about the guidelines, about the ways to achieve physical activity. We're able to give them a Fitbit um, so they can monitor their, their activity a little bit more and help reduce their their mortality and morbidity. And, and there's a direct impact with, with being physical. Yes, yes there is. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how somebody can get a referral to see you. Primary care providers would be able to offer the, a referral to us, gynecologists, as well as we do allow for self-referrals, so patients could call our, our office directly. Very cool. Um, this is a hot topic right now. It's a hot topic all the time, right? Yes, so yes. women should do those self-breast exams is it a daily thing? Is it a monthly thing? We suggest monthly, just knowing what their normal is, knowing what is normal to them. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being here. We've got your information on the screen, at the screen as well. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can call 267-2460 or healthteam.msu.edu.